Street, Burger Mike Strachman, Strasse, looking back towards the Shell Station, across from where the PX and Food Lane used to be. Um, somewhat here to the left, as a matter of fact, let me go back a little bit here. You see these old stanchions here. I believe these stanchions are what's left of the overpass. They had a steel girder foundation with a with the wood uh, screwed or bolted to them. I think and it was, a, was a pretty big thing that we had uh, going across. So that's been removed quite some time ago. And I'm looking at over here. If you look in the background there, that is the uh, uh, smokestack for the steam plant where we were at just a few minutes ago. Uh, this is the what used to be the PX PX parking lot. Those buildings are all gone, torn down. I wonder if that's some of the parking lots still sitting right there. <laughs> some of the original asphalt. I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Uh, and then behind it, they build several other buildings in their apartment buildings. And then right about where here I was here, the frame of this building, the structure, the, the central core of it, was the old food land. And uh, the bookstore was out in front of that, and then of course, one of my favorite places to hang out, the Hot Dog Shack, or the Dog Shack, I think it was, it was called. Um, but as of right now, the core of this building that they're redoing here is the only thing that's left of the original buildings that were here, housing the toy, um, the toy store, Four Seasons, PX, Quartermaster's uh, uh, clothing sales store, Foodland, all that kind of stuff. And then down here, one of the last buildings of Centerville. Only uh, a couple of them are remaining in those, the four that are in this row right here that you see in the parking lot that was across from what used to be the commissary. And then that white building there in, in behind the trees is uh, the revamped uh, chapel. And then down Burgermeister here as we're looking they're doing some uh, street construction. And to my right is uh, Centerville. I think it was Centerville East, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that pretty much wraps up where we're at right now. One more quick glaze across. Just for that last look. And again, it is 7 November 2011. Uh, I did talk to the uh, one of the people that worked at the school, and he says that the reason why these buildings stayed so long uh, in a state of disrepair was because the investors pulled out. They wanted to build a huge parking lot here, and the city had something else in mind, and they couldn't make up their minds. And the investors, in the meantime, said, well, you know, we're out of here. And uh, everything came screeching to a halt because the city obviously didn't have the money to do anything. So there you have it. The truth comes out.